all of the data that came out of FMT has been really exciting and surprising. I think of the microbiota, and when I think of the microbiota, you know, the poop is a piece of that as another organ system. So just like we have a heart and a, you know, liver and a brain, we have this organ system that's interfacing with our brain and our immune system. The neuroimmunomodulatory impacts of this organ system are far more profound than we thought. The fecal transplant is an example of how profound these bacteria can be. And it's probably not just that they're engrafting or recolonizing, it's that they're changing the way the immune system and our brain is interfacing with our native microbiota. And we're, you know, changing gene transcription and, and you know, for in layman's terms, Imagine that you have a forest and you put in some new trees, but then you completely change the environment too. That's going to change the way the forest looks 10 years from then, not just the like different species you put in. And I think that's why fecal transplant is unique is it's not just one or two bacteria. It's a whole bunch of bacteria and viruses and fungi and all their molecules they use to communicate with each other and some of the fiber that comes from food. And we are seeing, you know, patients report reduction in their suicidality and depression and anxiety with fecal transplant. And that is, again, speaking to this bigger organ system that's getting shifted and changed. But, you know, we can think about it analogous to lifestyle changes. When you fundamentally change your diet and exercise routine, your gut changes too. And they're, you know, we're talking about kind of that scale of, of global shifting of an ecosystem organ.